What's up, Zox fam? We're back with some more Dislike. Now, we're going to be getting into the version 3.4.5 details. Now, of course, we're checking this out per usual to see if there's any extra things that we can pick up or gather. Uh, I am going to clear up some stuff, so when we get to those points, we'll get to those points. But let's go ahead and let's get right into it. Hey guys, Tom here. So today What's I'm up, going Tom? to take you through some exciting content of version 3.45, which is also Dislike's second anniversary. Okay. So let's begin. So new espers. Tria is a flow fighter capable of inflicting debuffs while significantly weakening enemies. With the power of Tai, Tria harbors fantasies of dominating heaven and earth. It makes sense if you think about it because he's a human living on earth imbued with the power of the god of heaven from the Chinese mythology. Okay. I wonder why he has dreams of conquest for both. Wio is a shimmer defender capable Dude, she of looks so sick. Blades on her feet are nuts. Essential damage for passive means. She's endowed with the power of Dijang, which in Chinese mythology is often described as having four Sheesh. wings and no face, and is said to enjoy dancing. And that reflects in both Wuyo's design and animations. Okay. Let's see, new events. Everything seems to be in place, but unexpected complications have arisen. Would a mysterious shaman offer a helping hand? The Items of Faith Trial features a free chapter story, a Test of Faith Trial, and okay. current requests missions. Those different mods can get you rewards such as Legendary Ablimon, Shimmer, Gold, Elemental Record, Strong Stone Boxes, and so on. We are launching Warm Up Match Season 6 in this version. This time you can unlock Tangshan's epic skin Pierce Red upon reaching Master Tier. Okay. As you can tell, it is indeed red but I'm not sure why PS2. <laughs> the Burning Beast Fest is approaching, so it's time to celebrate this slide second okay. anniversary. So I want to clarify on something, guys. So what it seems like they did was they almost put, it's like they put two patches of information into one patch, right? Because the stuff for this part of the video, like I think getting into like the anniversary stuff, um, this stuff doesn't even start until May 10th right? It is currently April 17th and the update for the new characters and the, you know, the warm up match, all that stuff is happening around the 23rd, right? So we're, we're having that update happen around then. So this honestly is kind of, like I said, this is what was really confusing on what was what. And that means that even for second anniversary, there could be potentially more being announced the closer that we get to that, because some of these things could be started around that point. I don't know why they would announce some stuff so far in advance, um, especially because that's during a period of time where again that's anniversary so i'm only going to speculate with the way that they did this that there could be something else coming along the way but i just wanted to kind of say say that because i think a lot of people are under the impression including myself that this stuff was actually going to be happening right away but i went back and i looked at all of the dates of everything so like um the burning beat rave um that's starting on may 10th so is the sweet wishes so is the jigsaw fest the flaming echo the rewind the flashback we don't even get to touch these things for another two weeks so i don't even know why this was kind of presented to be honest um and i mean this is after the 23rd right so that like this is like you have to get through this next part first part i guess like maybe if they were classifying this as part one and maybe showing us part two i don't know but that wasn't indicated either so yeah i just want to kind of clear that up because i know that that's probably throwing people off because yeah this isn't going to be starting right away in the next um the next update. Um, so the things that we will be getting will be like the items of faith, the warm up match will be starting like on the 24th. I think it's like the day after um, the burning beat ball will be starting on the 28th. Um, you have the uh, I'm trying to think what else is on there. No, everything else is like then much closer to the 10th. So I think the scratch off is like one of the only other things um, outside of the Haran box and probably the endless nightmare that actually start right before then. But yeah, that's like it's really weird how they did this. So I just want to kind of clear that up though, for those that were either confused or just did not know what exactly was happening. So that's that. Please note that most events of the Burning Beat Fest will start on May 10th, which is the exact anniversary date. During the Burning Beat Ball event, you must vote for your favorite espers for several rounds in a knockout competition. And the most popular esper at the end of the event will receive a single from our official music team, x -Heart Studio. Who is it gonna yeah. be? You decide. Like I said, something you guys can do with this to make this even better is just 
create a skin. If it's a generally voted character that a lot of people want or something like that, you could do something special with that unit. Something like outside of the music. I think the music thing is really, really cool. Um, but yeah, even being able to say like, hey, if all of your players like that character, that degree creating a skin, something along that lines would be pretty cool too. Um, especially for those that are interested in trying to, you know, earn it from something or get it from something. I don't know. Like there's an easy way you could, there's a lot of ways you can go about doing that. So that's just my two cents. The night carnival is approaching, so it's time to celebrate. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who the heck was that? Who the heck was that? Who the heck? See, this is what I'm saying. So, okay, this literally, okay, this further proves exactly that, right? So this means that May Tempter is going to be another unit because that's not even a unit we've seen. We don't know who that is. They obviously by mistake leaked this um, because that's showing an entirely different unit. And I don't even know who that is. I have no idea who that is, but she's all pink, kind of like a Sakura color. Um, like, dude, that's. Okay, there's that. So that means that we could potentially be seeing another five star and four star coming into the game for around the time of anniversary, or it could be another double five star. And they might do the same thing they did last year where we got a freebie five star and then there was a rate up five star. So, man, this is some stuff you got to consider for saving resources, too, because that's going to be more than likely the real anniversary unit. And I'm almost betting it's a support. I'm celebrating together. During the Burning Beast Fest, the city's main interface will be decorated with a nighttime theme displaying vibrant colors for a limited period of time. I don't know about you, but to be frank, I kind of like it more than the original one. Yeah. Help Espers to complete commissions to get what great the heck, and dude? celebration messages. How y'all gonna leak your own unit in the... <laughs> ...object searches and the event okay. interface naturally takes the shape of a delicious cake. During the Jigsaw Fest event, log in every day to get a chance to reveal one of the puzzle pieces. Each piece reveal will get you a small reward, each line reveal will get you the corresponding reward, and you will get to pick the non-shimmer epic esper of your choice upon revealing the full picture. Okay. In Flaming Echo, you will need to complete daily tasks for rotary coins, which can be used to press the gacha machine. The machine has six slots. But how far back does it go? To a non-shimmer legendary esper from the pool. After pulling 50 times, you can select one legendary esper out of the six from the machine. During a flashback event, you will be able to review your journey in Grandis for the past year and a tag will be generated based on your personal data. Remember to flex it with the community. Yeah. All right, new gameplay. Let's see. Let's see what they talk about. Will the secrets of the ancient emeralds finally be unraveled? Venture bravely forth to reach the story's exciting conclusion. The fourth and last phase of Celestial Anomaly, the fall, will open in this version and will be focused on Endras. Okay. All right, so optimizations. Okay, they didn't mention. Okay, interesting. So I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. We're adding difficulties 17 to 20. Okay, there it is. For ritual miracle bosses. Challenging them will guarantee a larger number of relics obtained and more flawless quality ones at okay. the cost of some extra stamina and the deployment of a wider range of espers to meet specific elemental class requirements. But we like challenges, don't we? Okay, so what I'm going to say with that, because I know some people are... Um Think we're asking me about that and that being added to the game. I don't know if there's going to be, and they might do some balancing to the lower like threshold um, because I don't see how CM would even remotely be able to do 17 through 20 at this point. Um, <laughs> just because, again, one of the big things that's going to be a, a clear indicated difference, um, unless, again, they're like the super, super wells, is obviously Rezos. So uh, for most of us that have been playing for a while, we have good re Rezo investment, even on four stars, just max dupes. Um, Divinates are also going to be another thing. And then the other gimmick that they really have been pushing a lot is that elemental resistance or sorry, elemental. Yeah, elemental uh, res um, difference. Right. So that's probably going to be the biggest play into the gimmicks. But we even kind of see firsthand with the Apep, with the Kronos, with the Andres, with the Fafnir, that there's these different slightly kind of tweaked mechanics. And I'm almost going to presume that the Celestial Anomaly mechanics are going to be, some of them at least, to a degree, are going to be presented in potentially these new Ritual Miracle stages. Now, seeing that there is going to be more flawless yield is great because that means we're going to be getting higher roll potential. Um, but then also, too, that means that if there's more for you to get that also going that's going to filter out for those that need more gold so whatever it is that you have that's not 
good, then you can actually sell that if there's going to be more flawless yield. So there's a lot of build videos that I'm going to have, just kind of even recapping from the last stream that we had. But we're going to be actually doing the Ritual Miracles live on stream. Um, and then I'll be making guides from those streams uh, just because I want to make it more community oriented as we break down those pieces of content. So we'll just have to wait and see when they implement that, how they implement it. And then we'll actually be getting into some streaming of that. So that's going to be that, guys, um, in terms of the Ritual Miracles. So let's see if there's anything All else. Right, Spurs, that's all for today. I'm pretty excited about this anniversary version and I hope you are too. As we are slowly approaching summer, we'll finally get to see what the promised summer skins look like. Looking forward to okay. that and I'll see you next time. All right, so they're hinting at summer skins. Um, obviously, like I said, the way they mixed the patch was really weird. Um, so I'm glad we were able to at least have them recap this to kind of talk about it somewhat because, yeah, I feel like this is definitely going to be something that's absolutely um, insanity leading up to getting us out of this like catch-up period for CN. So if we can get out of this period, I feel like the game will actually start you know, pushing and propelling itself a little bit more forward where we're not feeling like the way we have been, right? So I think that that's something that I'm really looking forward to, um, seeing what Dislike actually does here on and thereafter. Um, and so, yeah, we'll see with, you know, see if they, you know, honor a lot of the things on their roadmap that they presented for this year um, and then, you know, see where the game goes. So that's going to be that with this one, guys. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one.